<sighs> Alright. Hello everyone, it's Steamboy27. Let's continue the trek in the Gate of Sleep. Did I mention this was the Gate of Sleep? Probably not, excuse me. I didn't tell you, but oh well. This is the Gate of Sleep. Eternal Sleep, apparently, considering it's run over by zombies. We've only got five floors to go. So today is gonna be a short one, I think. Maybe not? Who knows? Skeletor and Dark Crab. I really wish they wouldn't use that, but oh well. It does work wonders on everything else. And the Skeletor apparently has no HP. How unlike of a zombie monster. Huh? Where's the- oh, it's this way, excuse me. There's something to be proud of when you see all your monster icons be, be uh, question marks, you're like, yeah, boss monsters, they're all mine. The idea of a boss monster just never occurred to me in this game, because I had never played Dragon Warrior before I played Dragon Warrior Monsters. I think my cousin introduced me to this game, he just showed it to me one day, I'm like, wow, that's so cool. I think as a kid, I was always more attracted to the idea of magic and might and swords and shields rather than Pokemon and stuff like that. Rather than being an, or an ordinary kid doing extraordinary things, I'd rather be in an extraordinary world doing ordinary things considered in that world. If that was confusing, I mean to say that why be in a place that's normal but has one different thing about it when you can be in somewhere extraordinary? and do things like that every day. Because Pokemon is simply a modernized world with Pokemon in it. Sure, it's got Pokemon, but that's about it. Everything else, they got trains, cars, bicycles, buildings, electricity, all that stuff. No swords, no magic, nothing otherworldly. I think they're stretching it on the Pokemon idea myself, but oh well, that's fine by me. Pokemon will never die, so long as there are youthful children. Heck, they should just re make an HD remix of Red, Red, White, and... Ah, uh, not Red, White, and Blue, excuse me. Red, Blue, and Yellow. Even though I'm older now, I definitely buy Blue again. First game. Pretty awesome. Did the silly thing and just... Did it solo with my starter Pokemon, let everybody else kind of take the backseat. Until I found a Hitmonchan, because Hitmonchan, Hitmonchan is my favorite Pokemon. Eh, it's one of them anyway. Yeah, it's definitely Hitmonchan. Oh wow, Zoma actually leveled up. That's interesting. Barmos is still the lowest level, but that's just because I was lazy during his level ups. I actually went the whole mile and leveled up uh, Pizarro to level 49. Don't know why, I just felt like it. Hmm, why is the video lagging? I'm using Bandicam and not crap, and this is a Game Boy game. I'm not even doing anything else. Couldn't possibly be oh wow, this dead noble knows heal us all. That's pretty cool. He knows heal us all. Viewers, if you want a dead noble that's very useful, come here, go to the gate of sleep. It's it knows heal us all. I don't know if dead nobles naturally learn it, but uh, I don't know. I don't have this guy in my library notation. I probably should, but I won't. Maybe in another game. Hint. Oh man, Dragon Warrior Monster 2 is so much more fun. And this game is pretty fun to begin with. How could it possibly be more fun? You'll see someday. Not today. Maybe not tomorrow, but someday. I love the drama that the music the music builds up as we uh No, it's not in this area then, okay. I love- Music is a very good- is very good in this game. 
you gotta consider the history of this game. It came out in 2000, actually. And, uh, we were still... Still young in the, uh, Game Boy game age. It's hard to set a tone in the Game Boy game, really. But, uh, Dragon Warrior Monsters did a good job. Having the last level have a dramatic tone to it as you find your way towards the dark hole that leads you to the boss level. I may sound ridiculous to you guys, but eh, it's my preference. Maybe not yours. But honestly, it just sounds very nice. All over the game. Alright, everyone. This guy's got some swords. Alright, let's talk to him before he whips him again. Who is disturbing my rest? I am Esther. Right now, that's all I remember. I don't even know if I'm good or evil now. What do you want from me? Did you come to destroy me? Well, not if we don't have to. Then go away. I will rest. Mm. Well, looks like we can't exit. Looks like we're gonna have to kill him. Esther is also from Dragon Quest IV. He's the one that manipulated Pizarro into becoming an evil lord. And, uh, because of we're being indecisive, Esther doesn't take kindly to that, so we're gonna have to fight him. So let's see what we can do. I actually don't know what he can do, actually. Let's start by using Speed Up. I have that now. It's actually pretty good. Um, we could use Ultra Down, but not right now. Let me use Cast Bounce. And... Bazoo call, there we go. Apparently we're faster than him already, so good. Oh, Baramos is not faster than him. Hmm. We got an issue here. Let's use some defense. Let's try using Ultra Down. I'm curious to see what happens. And... I don't know what else to use. I guess I'll use Heal All on Barnabas, just in case. Wow, that's a lot of defense down. No effect on Esther. Ooh, D-Magic! Yeah, he just dispelled our Bazoo. So it looks like we're not gonna be able to do that today. Holy crap! Looks like we're also getting, uh, getting ourselves cut up. See what we can do, though. I'll be commanding my team the entire time this time around because I don't want to die. Let's shoot quad hits because he didn't dispel his own. I don't think he dispelled his own defense. So if we we'll do if we do this, we'll do about if we round it up to 150 and multiply it by eight, that's about over. That's over a thousand damage. I'm do, I'm definitely doing over a thousand damage per turn now. This will be over soon. Yes, in Dragon Quest IV, Esther manipulated Pizarro into finding him the secret of evolution. Then he left him to die, I think, and he took over as the Lord of the Monsters or something. I'm not quite sure. If you want to figure it out, you'll watch AC Bailey. I have watched it, but a lot of the details are away from my mind. Alright! Sometimes the best attack is to simply attack, or in this case, attack 12 times. Alright, we're level 50. What's wrong with me? I can be defeated? Somehow, I knew from my long dream that eventually this would happen. Wadabu, what are you doing? Even if we're in a dream, it doesn't matter as long as Kane's trying hard. Well, I guess so. Considering we're in his dream, and we're and he could have done a lot of things to us, but I guess uh, we won in the end. I'd rather not be king. I had that problem in Dragon Quest IV. Uh, no, Dragon, Dragon Warrior Three. Didn't like being King One bit, actually. Alright, well everyone, this is Steamboy27, wishing you a bright tomorrow. 
I'll be working hard for a little while, trying to get you-know-who on our side. See you later, everyone.